Alright wankers, this is how you test, because it's a test of a call-in support system, short KISS. So you select a playable function, this is for Game Master, because in conflict it should be simpler. Then you select a spawn point, plop a spawn point, I'll just spawn also the arsenal. Uh, make sure that the, where is it? Uh, Supply system is disabled. Yeah, get supply usage is disabled. All right, so I'll close the game master. Hop in, choose the faction, join the faction, spawn. All right, so here I am. Now I need gadgets because the coin support system is interacted through gadgets. So the main gadget will be. Ah, oh, this is the wrong arsenal because reasons so we spawn the USMC arsenal alright and we grab the laser designator which is over here huh. weird alright so now for me it's a backslash I don't know what it is from, for console but you can actually I think check it in controls RHS and radio menu, yeah, it will be here. No, I actually don't have a button backslash. Huh. So I press this or this, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I press it. As you can see, we have a vector, and then when we enter it, we have two more options. And it says why we can't meet this, we can't use this because we don't meet the requirement that is not enough squad members. And in the description, we can see. What is after use cooldown? What's the ETA? If I have to be a squad leader, as you can see, I am a squad leader because I spawn properly, thus I'm automatically automatically a squad leader. And what the number of squad members is required and how many I currently have. Alright, so uh, now I don't meet it. I'm in a single player. I can't meet the squad number requirement, although I'll probably add some way to count also the AIs but that's uh, as of the moment buggy so what I do is I enter the game master go into edit scenario properties and then here there is a new tab RHS kiss because you want to kiss the enemy with a GBU and here you can either uh, either you can change requirement for the resources which is disabled because in the game we don't use supplies um, you, uh, usage limit if Colin is uh, configured to have a amount of usage, how many times it can be used, uh, then this can disable that uh, limitation. And this is also not present in Game Master because in Game Master you're not earning a rank. Uh, so this is not present. It's only present in Conflict. Uh, this tells the game if I have to be a squad leader and as you can see from the description which is over here if I set it to yes then even if the configuration of the colon is set to not require that I will have to be if I set it to no then like we saw it here I'm gonna go back to my character hop in here and now from the description uh, we can tell that the requirement for being a squad leader is no longer there so let's go back to the uh, uh, game master okay um, minimal squad size I can either adjust it to be more by one two three four blah, 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 or less by or straight up disable this property by setting it to no uh, same for all the like requiring the gadgets so let's go back to the character I still can't call it it because I have to have a GPS, right? Because I need to know my position in order to be able to call in the the call in. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna grab the dagger, but it should work technically with all the modded GPSs as long as they have correct gadget type, which you can't tell as a player. Only as a modder you can tell that. But if if the GPS gadget is com properly configured, then it will work with calling support system KISS <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I fulfilled that requirement. But this calling also requires me to have mid-range radio, aka the backpack. So let's grab that. Or better yet, let's disable the requirement of gadgets by Game Master. So use requirement for required gadgets. Potato, potato. All right, I'm gonna leave this just in case. All right, and now I can call it in. I don't need to have even the GPS, as you can see. So I can like request a bombing run. Uh, like you can see here, after use cooldown is nine seconds. This is for testing purposes. That's why those values are so low. Uh, the ETA, estimated time of arrival, means how long it will take approximately from me clicking this option to the colon spawning. Thus meaning that there's also the time of flight for the thing to be dropped. So if I press it, this is Charlie one first I get a on grid. notification zero, right, two, eight, right side zero, of the screen. Four, north. Zero one five Plus. nine nine uh, east abort code Sierra 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 Over. message Roger that same link payload the main confirms that the calling is approved. Now if I go over here, I have an option to cancel my request. That's why you heard him saying abort code Sierra 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 or whatever it was. I don't remember. That's also the reason why <laughs> the voice changed because I forgot to record this those voice lines and generate those voice lines because this are AI generated. So I can technically cancel it. I'm not gonna do that. So we can actually have the spawn thingy. Uh in the meantime, because I have the radio backpack. Wait, do I have it? No, I don't have it. Fuck. Let's grab the radio backpack. Yeah. Radio backpack also allows me to Re oh, request resupply crate. Yay, freedom! Democracy! Yeah, cool. Anyway, um, the backpack allows me to request supply resupply crate on my position. So, this is a distinction between distinguishing factor between the designator and the backpack. This request at the position at which I'm looking. There is a limit how far or how close, in case of a colon, uh, the GBU colon, you can call it in. So I don't remember the values. They actually might be disabled as of the moment for testing purposes. Uh, but yeah, there is a max minimal and maximal value. Uh, I think we can actually test the max value of it there. I should be quite far. Charlie no, main this is Charlie didn't. one requesting support but on the grid zero. I can also two, go three, here. Three, zero, Rumpy north, main this is Charlie zero, one oh, requesting five, support zero, on grid. Two, zero, two, break, break, eight, break. Eight, Cancel four, bombing north, run. Abort code. Zero, Sierra, one, Sierra, four, Sierra. Eight, five, yeah, east, you can request over. multiple things at the same time. But yeah, what I was trying to say, like you can see, because there was after use cooldown for fifteen seconds after the after it was deployed, it can't be deployed again. And then it's dropping on a parachute. Shoot parachute, yeah, in quotes, of course. Uh, anyway, it reaches the ground. Wabam. And there's some stuff in it. It's not our arsenal. I don't want to use arsenal. Arsenal is gay. <coughs> anyway, I think that's everything. Uh, will this be final? Will anything change? Probably, maybe, I don't know. I will probably try to add some option for the disabling of the max range and men range uh, probably there won't be any way for game master to control individual call-ins due to the way that game master works and it would require us absurdly large amount of work due to the way this menu is designed and i'm not gonna do that uh, so yeah by setting this value you impact all the call-ins. So if I set it to, I don't know, something like this, and something like this, this will mean that if I go here, plop it here, yeah, after this cooldown is nine, 90 seconds now, because it's 10 times more than it was before. So 1,000%, yeah, 10,000 
10 times per more and yeah ETA is 8 minutes so that way you can fine tune it slightly uh, in the future the values will change as I said those are for te testing purposes also like you could see in the game master there is a requirement for supplies and for rank like I said those are as of the moment currently only available in conflict because conflict is the only game mode that has the XP manager thus meaning the rank can change and also game master and some other like um, combat ops have the supplies disabled because we are using the supplies from the main base so the way it will work in conflict is that the game will be like okay what's the cost of this it's this and this let's say 500 tell me how much the main base has supplies is it this or less if it's less you can't use it if it's more good and it also ties into another mechanic the cancelling of a um, colon which is not available for all colons it's 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 a configuration thingy so I can set it to be possible to cancel this or not like for example this resupply crate can't be cancelled as of the moment uh, but what it will do it will actually show you in the description if supplies are in use that if you cancel you are gonna get back 90% of supplies I think it says the amount I don't remember but yeah that's all I think it should be it's a large system but thankfully hopefully it will be able to do much more like vehicle callings and maybe AI callings hopefully I don't know we'll see have fun